In the summer of 1985, a team of U.S. geological survey scientists were flying over remote areas of New Mexico when they noticed something strange. A huge steam plume rose from a spot in the southeastern corner of the state, an area known as the Tub Canyon. This was odd because there wasn't supposed to be anything hot underneath this part of New Mexico. In fact, it was supposed to be pretty much geologically dead. But now here was evidence that something may have been brewing beneath the surface. The scientists landed their plane and trekked out into the rugged landscape to investigate. Sure enough, they found new hot springs and pools of boiling mud, or what geologists call mud pots. Their investigation revealed that a magma chamber about 12 kilometers below the surface had recently become active. And while this was fascinating, it also raised some concerns. The magma chamber was located directly beneath a huge supervolcano known as the Yellowstone Caldera. Could this be a sign that the famous supervolcano was preparing to blow? Yellowstone National Park is home to more than just Old Faithful. The park encompasses one of the world's largest and most active volcanic systems, so much so, in fact, that it's been designated a decades-long volcano, which means that it's one of the most closely monitored volcanoes in the world. This level of monitoring isn't necessarily cause for concern. After all, Yellowstone has been relatively quiet since it last erupted over 600,000 years ago, and the U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory carefully monitors the volcano to make sure there are no signs of unrest that could indicate an impending eruption. But if Yellowstone did erupt, it would be catastrophic. The effects of the blast would be felt not only across the western United States, but across the entire planet. For this reason, scientists have spent decades trying to better understand Yellowstone's history and trying to predict what might happen if it erupts again. One key piece of the puzzle has been understanding how and why it formed in the first place. Yellowstone sits atop a hot spot, a plume of hot rock rising from deep within the Earth's mantle. Hot spots are responsible for many of the world's volcanoes, including those found at places like Hawaii and Iceland. But unlike those volcanoes, which are the result of relatively small, frequent eruptions, supervolcanoes like Yellowstone erupt with cataclysmic violence. So violent, in fact, that they can blow whole sections of their roofs off, creating massive calderas. Most of the time, these eruptions don't occur because of pressure building up within the magma chamber itself. Instead, they occur because of the sinking of the North American plate, the enormous slab of crust that makes up the bulk of the continent. As the plate moves over the hot spot, the descending magma melts part of the crust, creating vast underground lakes of molten rock. Eventually, the weight of the overlying crust becomes too great and it collapses, sending thousands of cubic kilometers of ash, rock, and gas into the air. So far, three major eruptions have shaped Yellowstone's history, with each eruption creating its own caldera. The oldest is the Lava Creek eruption, which occurred about two million years ago. Then came the Mesa Falls eruption about 1.3 million years ago. These two events created the vast magma chamber that lies beneath Yellowstone today. The youngest is the Huckleberry Ridge eruption, which took place around 640,000 years ago. Together, the three form one of the largest continuous volcanic deposits on Earth. But even though the last eruption happened more than half a million years ago, there's plenty of evidence that the system remains active. Between 1870 and 1985, the area experienced 20 separate earthquakes that registered as at least a 3 on the Richter scale. Since 1985, there have been more than 2,000 earthquakes, including several that registered above a 4. All of this activity occurs along the so-called Yellowstone Seismic Belt, a horseshoe-shaped band of fault lines that extends for more than 1,600 kilometers from near Jackson, Wyoming to just south of Las Vegas, Nevada. Yellowstone's seismic belt is divided into three sections, the northern, central, and southern segments. Each segment corresponds to one of the three calderas that make up the larger structure. The northern and central segments are the most active, but surprisingly, the southern segment is the one that's been the most dangerous. That's because the southern segment cuts right through the small town of West Yellowstone, Montana, 
a popular tourist destination known for its wildlife viewing opportunities. In 1985, a magnitude 7.3 earthquake struck West Yellowstone, causing millions of dollars in damage and killing at least one person. To make matters worse, the town sits atop a buried fault line known as the Eastern Snake River Plain. The Eastern Snake River Plain is a region of flat, featureless land that covers much of southern Idaho. What makes the Eastern Snake River Plain particularly dangerous is that it's home to several active geothermal areas, including the craters of the Moon National Monument and preserves. This is why it's so important for scientists to monitor Yellowstone closely. Any sign of unrest could indicate an impending eruption. And while there's no evidence that such an eruption is imminent, scientists are still concerned. That's because the Yellowstone supervolcano is not alone. In fact, there's another supervolcano in the United States that's just as big and just as dangerous. It's called the Long Valley Caldera, and it's located in California. Long Valley is actually a series of overlapping calderas that stretch for nearly 50 kilometers. Like Yellowstone, it sits atop a hot spot. But unlike Yellowstone, it hasn't erupted in hundreds of thousands of years. In fact, the most recent eruption was about 760,000 years ago. That doesn't mean it's dormant, however. There are numerous hot springs and geysers in the area, indicating that magma is still present beneath the surface. In 1987, scientists discovered a magma chamber about 12 kilometers below the surface. They estimate that it contains about 300 cubic kilometers of magma, enough to cause a massive eruption. If Long Valley were to erupt today, it would devastate much of California's Central Valley, home to more than 25 million people. The ash cloud would likely spread across the entire state, causing widespread crop failure. But even though Long Valley is potentially just as dangerous as Yellowstone, it receives far less public attention. That's probably because California is so densely populated that any disaster there would affect a large number of people. In other words, people tend to be more concerned about a volcano that threatens their own backyard than one that's in a more remote location. For this reason, scientists have been working hard to educate the public about Long Valley's risks. They've developed a comprehensive hazard assessment plan that outlines the potential impacts of an eruption and the best ways to mitigate them. The plan includes evacuation routes, shelter locations and procedures for distributing food and water in the event of an eruption. But even with all of these precautions in place, it's unclear whether Californians would take the threat of a supereruption seriously. After all, the state is also home to the San Andreas Fault, one of the most dangerous fault lines in the world. People living near the fault are constantly at risk of earthquakes, but they seem to go about their lives as if nothing could possibly go wrong. It's possible that a similar sense of complacency would set in if Long Valley were to show signs of unrest. For this reason, scientists are considering ways to raise public awareness of the volcano. One possibility is creating a national park that would include the caldera itself, as well as the surrounding areas. Another is developing a visitor center where people could learn about the volcano and its history. Of course, these plans are still in the very early stages, but it's clear that something needs to be done. Long Valley is a ticking time bomb that could erupt at any moment, and the people who live nearby need to be prepared. So is Long Valley the next Yellowstone? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, it's a volcano that we can't afford to ignore. So the next time you're planning a trip to California, be sure to add Long Valley to your list of must-see destinations. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more science news.